Well, that's the biggest question to answer. If it was indeed a terrorist attack, you have to imagine that, that either uh, a, a man who uh, would be uh, committing this uh, this attack was allowed to uh, uh, to go onto a plane at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris six months exactly, almost to the day after the, the biggest uh, terrorist attack, and six months into uh, a, a very severe state of emergency that we had in France. And so to, to get on the plane and to maybe uh, enter the cockpit, uh, which could be one of the uh, modus operandi, since uh, apparently the, uh, the plane moved erratically at uh, the end and the uh, and, and the, the pilot was not responding to, to, the, uh, to the radio station uh, of Greece. So it might be uh, a possibility that uh, somebody was, uh, went into the cockpit and, and crashed uh, the plane. Or it might be as well uh, an explosive. And again, same question, how can that happen in the state of emergency that is supposed to be uh, in place uh, in France? It's, uh, it's the uh, scariest uh, prospect to, uh, to, to consider. So, uh, I, I, of course, I can't answer your question. I don't know how you do it. But the very fact that there is a possibility that you could do it is, is actually very frightening. It means that the, uh, the, the state of emergency uh, actually does not work. And, uh, and that's, that's the hardest, uh, the hardest to, to comprehend. Now, like you say, it is too soon to, to know exactly what happened. But uh, if we look at the situation of Egypt, it uh, was criticised after the Sinai crash, uh, the one claimed by uh, the Islamic State group in which uh, more than 200 people were killed. And now then there might be renewed concerns about airport security uh, in Egypt, but also here in France. Uh, uh, who, Whose responsibility ultimately w would it be? I, would it depend on if there had been a, a device where it was planted? Well, uh, in terms of responsibility, if it was a terrorist attack, the responsibility would uh, be on the terrorist uh, network and the actual person uh, performing the attack. As of, uh, if you, you're talking about who's responsible for the, the, the lack of security which, had, uh, which would have uh, allowed this uh, to happen, well, security checks are uh, being uh, performed everywhere of course they uh, they don't spend that much time on the ground when when they do a return flight into egypt or, or always but that's uh, customary all over europe and elsewhere that, that the planes don't stay long for uh, uh, on on their on their uh, stopovers in uh, different airports so that's uh, and it doesn't prevent them from uh, good maintenance and good maintenance uh, checks uh, and everything so you you have to admit that maybe at some point uh, uh, someone either in Cairo, uh, inbound, or from Paris, either came into the plane with the clear intention of committing a terrorist attack or planted uh, uh, a bomb somewhere on, on the plane. And so uh, in terms of responsibility, uh, I don't know how much we will know uh, when the, uh, the, 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 the debris of the, of the plane are finally uh, found. I hear that uh, probably they, they have been found uh, uh, close to, to Crete, and it's, of course, much easier to, um, to monitor the Mediterranean than it is for the uh, Indian Ocean, of course. And so uh, uh, hopefully we will find... The, the black boxes, we, which uh, are where you have the, the recording of what happened in the cockpit and the recordings of the uh, the technical aspect of the fact, and uh, we'll, we'll tell us more. But maybe how, we, uh, yes. How long do you think it'll be before we have some answers, especially when you consider this is a pretty complex probe, I imagine, with so many countries concerned? Uh, well, that's the hardest. For example, when you, you, you referred to the one that flew from Sharm el Sheikh into Russia and cra crashed in the Sinai, it, it was actually very long for the uh, Russian authority to admit that uh, a plane which was registered in Russia, it was a Russian a char charter plane, uh, uh, had been attacked uh, by a terrorist attack. They, they claimed it was a technical difficulty for a long time. So you have to, uh, to deal with, uh, with uh, the, the difficulty for any government to accept the reality of the terrorist threat. Uh, our government here in France does not have any problem ac accepting the, the reality of the terrorist threat. That's, of course, what the, uh, the state of emergency uh, has been uh, uh, for for the, for the past uh, six months. But if we were to uh, discover through a terrorist attack like this that the state of emergency does not work, there would be a very, very uh, frightful pro prospect.